Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. Today we will be finishing off the, uh, the Saab aircraft, starting with the, uh, uh that is alphabetical. <laughs> Saab Vegan should come first in my opinion, but I guess today we will do the Saab Gripen, JAS-39 Gripen. Title JAS-39 Gripen or Gripen. Type single seat, all weather, all altitude, interceptor, attack, and reconnaissance aircraft. Program funded definition and development began June of 1980. Initial proposal submitted 3rd of June 1981. Government approved program 6th of May 1982. Initial FMV development contract 30th of June 1982 for five prototypes and 30 production aircraft with options for the next 110. Overall, go ahead. Confirmed spring of 1983, first test runs of RM-12 engine January of 1985. Rip and HUD first flown in Vigan test bed February of 1987. Study for 2-seat JAS-39B authorized July of 1989. First of five single-seat prototypes, 39-1, rolled out 26th of April 1987. Made first flight 9th of December 1988, but lost in landing accident after fly-by-wire problem 2nd of February 1989. Subsequent first flights 4th of May 1990, 39-2, 20th of December 1990, 39-4, and 25th of March 1991, 39-3, and 23rd of October 1991, Unit 39-5. 2000 Griffin Sortie was flown by Unit 39 4 on 22nd of December 1995. Modified Biggin, Unit 37 51, retired at end of 1991 after assisting with avionics trials, conducting nearly 250 flights. Two single seat fatigue test airframes, 39 51, discarded 1993, 39 52, began a 16,000 hour program. August 1993 and achieved 8,000 hours in early 1996. Second production batch of 110 aircraft approved 3rd of June 1992. First production Gripen 39101 made first flight 10th of September 1992 and joined test program in lieu of 39-1. Flight test program in 1995. Included high angle of attack and spin trials by 39-2 and trials of an APU for batch 2 production by 39-4. 95% of all contractual requirements have been verified by December of 1995. Total program is over 1,800 hours in 2,300 sorties by six trials aircraft. By 1996, it demonstrated Mach 1.08 cruise without reheat. So, super cruise, it sounds like. First production aircraft for Swedish Air Force 39102 made first flight 4th of March 1993. Excuse me, and was handed over to FMV. 8th of June 1993. Flight control software modified following loss of 39102 and crash on 8th of August 1993 and installed from December of 1994. Further software upgrade to new generation P11 standard introducing 11 filters to prevent pilot induced oscillations. First flown 22nd of March 1995 in trials aircraft and installed in test weapons from autumn 1995. We'll also go into production aircraft built after early 1996. Modified control stick introduced with production aircraft 39108, first flight 11th of April 1995. BB-12 display processor for lot 2 color displays first flown August of 1995. Initial 30 aircraft to be delivered between 1993 and 1996, 5 in 1994, 6 in 1995, comprising 39108-112. And 120, 16th delivery, 39121 on 1st of March 1996. Second batch of 110 aircraft to be delivered in 1997 through 2002. First unit is F7 wing at Satanis. Maintenance training begun May of 1994 at Linkoping. Conversion scheduled to begin 1st of October 1995, but postponed to 1996. Pilot Training Center at Satanis officially opened 9th of June 1996, Griffin ILC 1997. JAS 39B prototype 39800 rolled out 29th of September 1995. First flight 29th of April 1996. During test sorties planned, delivery second quarter 1998. First production trainer completed, final assembly on 29th of February 1996. Two seat fatigue test airframe began a simulated 1200 hour program in February of 1996. Design features, 
intended to replace the AJS HSF JA and AJS versions of the Saab Vigan in that order and remaining J-35 Drakens. Partners are Saab Military Aircraft, Ericsson Radar Electronics, Volvo Fliegmotor, and FFV Aerotech to operate from 800 meter long or 2,625 foot Swedish V-90 road strips. Simplified maintenance and quick turnaround with ground crew comprising one technician and five conscripts. Delta wing with squared tips for missile rails has approximately 45 degree leading edge sweep pack. Independently movable foreplanes have leading edge sweep of approximately 43 degrees. Landing gear, AP precision hydraulics retractable tricycle gear, single main wheels retracting hydraulically forward in the fuselage. Steerable twin wheel nose unit retracts rearward. Goodyear wheels and tires, carbon disc brakes, and ABS anti-skid units. Nose wheel braking, entire gear design for high rate of sync. Power plant, one General Electric Volvo Fleet Motor RM12, or a license built copy of the F404-G-400 turbofan, rated initially at approximately 54 kilonewtons or 12,140 pounds force dry, and 80.5 kilonewtons or 18,100 pounds force with afterburner. Near rectangular intakes, each with splitter plate, fuel and integral tanks in fuselage and wings, inner technique fuel management system. Accommodation, pilot only in JAS-39A on Martin Baker S10LS00 ejection seat. Inch canopy opening sideways support and one piece windscreen by Lucas Aerospace. Two seats in tandem in JAS-39B, command sequence in two seat aircraft ejects rear occupant first, simultaneously inflating an airbag between the two cockpits to protect the front pilot from perspex splinters. Avionics, comms, Celsius Tech, dual VHF UHF transceivers, and IFF retrofit plan with tactical radio systems or TARS. Radar, Ericsson GMA VPS 05 A multimode pulse Doppler target search and acquisition look down shoot down radar, weight 156 kilograms or 344 pounds. For fighter missions, system provides fast target acquisition at long range, search and multi-target track while scan, quick scanning, and lock on at short ranges, and automatic fire control for missiles and cannon. In attack and reconnaissance roles, operating functions are search against sea and ground targets, mapping with normal and high resolution, and navigation. Flight, Ericsson SDS-80 Central Computing System with the D-80 computer, the Pascal slash D-80 High Order Language and Programming Support Environment, upgraded D-80E computer, flown mid-1994 and introduced from Unit 39108, 3 mil standard 155 3B data buses, one of which links flight data navigation, flight control, engine control, and main systems. Honeywell Laser INS Radar Altimeter, Nord Micro Air Data Computer, Bay 3 Axis Strap Down Gyro Magnetic Unit provides standby altitude and heading, sorry, attitude and heading information. Instrumentation Ericsson EP17 Electronic Display System incorporating a Kaiser Wide Angle HUD and using advanced diffraction optics to combine symbology and video images. PP1 or PP2 display processors, PP12 in production lot 2 for color imagery. Three Ericsson CRT HDDs. Left hand flight data HDD normally replaces all conventional flight instruments. Central display shows computer generated map of areas surrounding the aircraft with tactical information superimposed. Right hand CRT is a multi sensor display showing information on targets acquired by radar, FLIR, and weapon sensors. Minimum of conventional analog instruments for backup only. Mission FLIR pod carried under starboard air intake trunk forward of wing leading edge for attack and reconnaissance missions at night, providing heat picture target on right hand HDD. Self defense radar warning equipment, Celsius tech, countermeasures including chaff flare and jamming. Mission RHWR. Which is radar homing warning receiver, I think. Anyways, armament, internally mounted 27mm Mauser BK-27 automatic cannon in port side of lower front fuselage and two wingtip mounted RP-74 or AM-9L Sidewinder infrared air-to-air -air missile standard. No internal gun in JAS-39B. Five other external hardpoints, two under each wing and one on center line for short and medium range air-to-air -air missiles such as RP-74, Mika, or AM-120 AMRAAM. Air-to-surface missiles such as RB-75, 
Maverick, into shipping missiles such as a Saab RBS 15F, NASA DWS 39 munitions dispenser, conventional or retarded bombs, air to surface rockets, or external field tanks. Dimensions external wingspan 8.4 meters and 27 feet 6 and 3 quarter inches. Length overall JAS 39A 14.1 meters or 46 feet 3 inches. JAS 39B 14.755 meters or 48 feet 5 inches. Height overall 4.5 meters or 14 feet 9 inches. Weights and, oops, weights and loadings operating weight empty JAS 39A 6,622 kilograms or 14,600 pounds. JAS 39B 8,000 kilograms or 17,637 pounds. Internal fuel weight 2,268 kilograms or 5,000 pounds. Takeoff weight clean approximately 8,500 kilograms or 18,740 pounds. Max takeoff weight with external stores approximately 13,000 kilograms or 28,660 pounds. Performance max level speed supersonic at all altitudes. Takeoff and landing trip length approximately 800 meters or 2,625 feet. Combat radius approximately 432 nautical miles or 800 kilometers or 497 miles. G limit plus 9. Length 14.1 meters, height 4.5 meters, wingspan 8.5 or sorry 8.4 meters, and max takeoff weight 13,000 kilograms. And here we can see a very modern looking Euro triangle is the shape of the grip and basically kind of like a probably analogous to an F-16 in terms of capability and performance. And uh, apparently it's been somewhat popular for export. Not as popular as they would have hoped, but uh, it's gotten some export orders. As it's a very lightweight, easy to maintain fighter. I mean, even in the description, they wanted to keep things simple so that way it could be serviced by conscripts in a time of war. So. Unfortunately, we can't look at all of this until I <laughs> finish editing all those photos. Oh gosh, are there a lot? But we do have a pair of videos, so we will start with the design video. The JAS-39 Griffin is a new generation, highly agile, lightweight combat aircraft designed to undertake an extensive range of operational missions. The designation JAS is a Swedish abbreviation for Fighter, Attack, and Reconnaissance, and each Griffin will perform all three missions. Under the terms of a joint venture agreement announced at the 1995 Paris Air Show, British Aerospace and Saab military aircraft will market, manufacture, and support the multi-role Gripen in the export market. First flown in December 1988, the Gripen is now in operational service with the Swedish Air Force and will ultimately replace all its current frontline combat aircraft. In total, 140 Gripens have been ordered, including the two-seat tactical trainer variant designated the 39B. Powered by the high thrust-to-weight ratio Volvo RM12 turbofan engine, the supersonic Gripen is built with flexibility and development potential in mind and will evolve to maintain its effectiveness and tactical advantage well into the 21st century. All right, then we have one other video here, a maneuvers video, so let's check that out. The exceptional flight performance of the Gripen is combined with an array of advanced, medium, and short-range weapons, a built-in Mauser BK 27mm high-energy gun, and a potent command and control suite, including the powerful multi-mode Doppler radar, which packs three times the functionality into half the previous generation's volume. This is the foundation of the Gripen's tactical edge. Its size is an advantage. Small is naturally stealthy. Saab's careful choice of configuration and detail design keeps radar signatures low, on the ground as well as in the air. The canards and wing control surfaces, combined with the high power-to-weight ratio, offer close combat maneuverability and supersonic acceleration at least the equal of other currently available fighters. Truly one of the world's most versatile combat aircraft, the Gripen on an attack or recon mission can turn instantly into a high-performance interceptor, fully capable not only of defending itself, but also of striking back. Alright, so leave off there for today. Definitely a very interesting fighter, and it might see some action soon if it uh, gets exported to Ukraine, because it is one of the fighters, I believe, that they have some interest in. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then.